Hello, Riddle First Graders. Welcome to another drawing session. We've been very busy making lots of animal drawings. We did the ibis, the puppy, the elephant, the jumping frog, the monkey, the silly monster, the fox, the owl. We've been really busy making lots of animals, haven't we? Today we're going to make another animal. We're going to make a fish. To do this fish, I've got my handy dandy note card or um, art card, and I'm going to draw a shape that kind of looks like this. It kind of looks like a teardrop teardrop like water drop and whoop giant water drop so go ahead and make that this is going to be the head over here next I'm going to make a line right about here I'm just going to like curve next step I'm going to make the mouth right about here, make it smiling. Then from the mouth here, I'm going to make this curve a little bit out so it's like like his top lip sticks out. I'll show you what I mean. There, his top lip. Next, I want to make his eye. I'm going to make a, a bump and then a big bump. One of those classic cartoon eyes. Next I'm going to make the pupil the shape that's in the eye right here. I'm going to leave a white circle. A little white circle. And that white circle is because his eye is so shiny. So shiny, that's why. Next I want to make a little fin on the top little fin on the top of him those fish have those fins they help them swim and, and move and turn I'm gonna give him a little fin on his tail and to do that I'm gonna make a big curve shape I'm gonna make it Boom. All right. Next, I need to give him a little arm. I'm going to make a little fin here. A little arm. And I need to make a little fin down low, too. That is my fish. Now what color do I want my fish to be? I'm going to make my fish mostly yellow. Be kind of an ocean looking fish. So I'm coloring his body in yellow. When I color I need to try to focus on coloring in neatly. I am coloring it in smooth. Oops, and I need to color his face. I need to... Next, I'm going to use a light blue and I'm going to color in his fins. The light blue. I'm pressing hard and I'm tracing around it and then I'm going to put some lines on it and then I'm going to color the inside nice and light. So I go over my lines, put some dark lines, and I press light to color them in. Next, my fish's eye. I am going to color his eye black. And I'm going to trace over top all the pencil lines. Around the eye should be left white. So remember to leave the white around his eye. It looks to me that I better I need to go around his fins too. 
kind of a cartoon looking little fish I guess is what I'm making here now when I think of fish I think of a fish being in water and I think about a fish making like little bubbles for some reason like I'm gonna make some bubbles maybe kind of coming out of his mouth and make three artists like to make um, when they make things like make three or make five those are called odd numbers I am gonna make some sand maybe he's near the bottom I'm gonna make a use of sandy color Make some plants. And then I'm going to color in some water really lightly. I'm just going to try to just really lightly color in a dark blue just to show it looks like I've, I've finished my drawing and the fish is sitting in some water. I'm going to leave the bubbles that I made white. I'm not going to color them in. I don't think I need to. You could do a little gradation with your blue when you're coloring. Not a bad idea to press hard and get light somewhere on the top or something. But working on these little art cards, sometimes it's hard to color on the edges too here. But. There is my little fish. Ooh. So I look forward to seeing your fish. And you know, you don't have to make it the same colors that I've made. You can do things differently. Absolutely. So, and if you want to add something different, you add some more plants or anything else like that you want to add, feel free. So I look forward to seeing your fish.